Good morning. I am coming to you from the newly painted kitchen. Uh, if you saw the last video, I, I put the color coat onto the parts of the kitchen that are getting color instead of just white. And uh, it feels so good to have that finally done. It has been like a six month saga of trying different colors and not liking them and then changing colors. And pff, I'm so glad it's done. I'm so glad it's done. Anyway, today is going to be a busy day. I am going to try to just plow through as much as possible. And I, I think it's better to show you guys some of the projects that I would like to get done today. We'll see how much I actually get through. Uh, than, than telling you. Telling you is a bit boring. Showing you is more exciting. Let's go show you. Okay, one thing I would really like to get done is painting this door. Uh, basically, it's kind of the last thing that is left unprimered or unpainted in the kitchen. Uh, so I would like to, A, put some putty on the patch. This is where I patched up the hole where the old uh, what's it called? Not air conditioning, I guess air, just air vent, uh, used to come through. So we need to putty that, smooth it out. And then I'd like to primer the whole door. And then up here, I'm leaving that intentionally empty at the moment with no paintable wallpaper. Over here, you can see where I've put the paintable wallpaper, but I haven't put any here because I would like to do a little mural similar to this one that I already did in the hallway because that's a very like historically accurate thing for this era of house. So I would like to do a small mural to put here. So I don't know if that's gonna get done today, but it, that's the future plan for that area. So that's one project that I would like to do today is getting that door and the door frame at least primered, maybe even fully painted. All right, going downstairs to the first floor, we have the future dining room. And something I would like to get done today as well is to get some paintable wallpaper up on these walls because you can see they are also like every other wall in the house, uh, this textured concrete. I don't know why every single room in this house is that, that damn textured concrete, but it is and we need to cover it. So paintable wallpaper needs to start going up. So that is something else that I would like to start doing in here today. I also might tackle this cabinet because it is full of stuff. I haven't really looked inside it yet. I just kind of opened the door for half a second. But I would like to kind of move the stuff out of that cabinet so that uh, it's ready to get moved out of this room to make space for work. Basically, painting and wallpapering are two of my least favorite tasks to do in the house. So I would like to just knock out as much of those two things today as I can and then move past them. So I'm going to change. I'm going to put on some really old and painty clothes and then get to work. While that's drying, I'm going to take this weird uh, black plastic plate thing off the door as well because it's going to look really odd once the door is white to have a black part for no reason. <laughs> So I'm going to take this piece of trim, it's an angle piece of trim, and I'm going to put it on the side, if it fits, there we go, uh, the side of this little bit of the wall that kind of sticks out because two reasons. First off, it just kind of gives it more of a finished look. And secondly, if I show you over here, 
the wallpaper that I've put to cover the textured walls is just not quite perfect on the corners. So once I put this piece of trim on, that'll hide that and make it look a lot more finished and neat. door and on the door frame and I got a little bit ambitious and I decided to move the furniture and do this little strip of trim as well so that's primered also but I still have some primer left in my roller tray and I don't want to waste it so I think I'm gonna go in the living room and do there's another little strip of trim between the bathroom and the shower room doors and just do that with primer and get that painted as well. That's actually going to be the same color. Uh, it's an off-white color called Aspen White that I'm going to paint this door so I can just kind of knock out everything all at the same time, hopefully. So it's pretty much dry in the kitchen here. I'm going to start on the color coat in the kitchen while the living room dries. So tired of painting. 
guys, I'm reaching my painting limit. It is not my favorite thing to do. And this project that I thought would be, I thought this would be like an easy and simple and just like a little bit of painting project for the day. And it just spiraled into loads of painting. I was originally just gonna do the door and one piece of, well, I was really, I was originally just gonna do the door only. And then I was gonna do the door and one piece of trim. And then I was gonna do the door and three pieces of trim. And now I've convinced myself that since I'm, I'm having painting time anyway, I should paint all this. Is it a bad idea? Yes. Am I gonna hate it? Also yes, but maybe I can just get it done and over with. painting is done. This is my victory dance for painting. Uh, to be honest, I have no energy to dance. <laughs> that took it out of me. That was so much painting and it is quite late at night now. I don't know how this spiral, this spiral, I don't know how that, 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 I can't talk anymore. I don't know how this project spiraled out of control so much, but it really did. But anyway, it is very dark. And because of that, I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning to show you the finished product. Uh, so cut to tomorrow morning in three, two, one. Good morning. It is the next morning. As every time I do a, a video where I'm painting, I feel like I end up painting into the night and then having to film the end the next morning. So that's what we're doing again. It's the next morning. Uh, and in the sunlight, I think everything turned out pretty good. I'll show you how it turned out. Ta-da! One nicely painted door. One beautifully green wall. Some trim that you can't really see because stuff's in front of it. It's back there. You can see it, right? It's there. <laughs> and another nicely painted wall with a hole in the ceiling. Don't look at the hole. I also painted this part of the trim in the living room, but totally forgot to film an after shot because I am disorganized. That. I think it looks very finished in here surprisingly because the, really the only thing left to do is the one corner and that's a huge step forward it feels like three quarters of a finished kitchen which I'm very happy about uh, so painting accomplished no coffee I keep forgetting there's coffee in my hand this is just gonna be a video of like me pouring coffee directly onto the top of my head anyway before I do that I'm gonna go <laughs> Hello! It is time for a very chilly chateau guessing game. Fortunately, I have stolen Laurent's coat, so I am nice and toasty warm. Uh, but today's chateau is, is winter, definitely winter themed. But before I show you the chateau and you guys can get to guessing, I'm just going to remind you very quickly to please do take a moment to subscribe because every time you subscribe, it benefits you by letting you know when there are new videos on this channel and stops you from missing anything. And it really, really helps me as well because it helps the YouTube algorithm pick up on what you like to watch. And if what you like to watch is this, then it's going to find more people who like to watch this and help the channel grow. And that is immensely helpful and now that I've babbled on about that oh also like videos liking videos is super 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 helpful um, if you're already subscribed please remember to like videos or even if you're not subscribed and you're on the fence then like this video and I, I don't know please also subscribe <laughs> um, I babbled long enough now let me show you the chateau uh, guess which one it is put me a comment down in the comments with the name of the chateau and I will feature you in the short that I'm gonna make about the chateau in probably a few days. So without further ado, here is your chateau. 
I will give you a couple of small clues. Well, I think the biggest clue probably you can see right now is that it's on a lake and they're mountains. So if you think about lakes and mountains, that might lead you to guess what kind of area this is in. It is in a country that is not France. I will give you that clue. And uh, this lake is quite a famous lake with quite a few famous cities on it. So I'll also give you that clue. So if you think you know what chateau this is, then give me a comment with your guess. And if you're right, you get featured in the short that I will make about the chateau. And with that, I will see you guys next time.